It's the first day of Ramadan. We have about one and a half hours left for our first iftar. I wanted to make something different how we make our iftar, the preparations in a vlog style. My daughter is cooking red lentil soup. She's sauteing an onion in olive oil. We're gonna add tomato paste. It's gonna be a classic lentil soup. We're not gonna process. That's why she's dicing finely. We also have meat stock here from the freezer. It's gonna be delicious. While my daughter Zeynep is making the lentil soup, I'm gonna make Arnavut Ciheri. With the liver I got yesterday from the Wednesday market in Fatih. I'm gonna make uh, Arnavut Ciheri. So I've got my liver here. I'm gonna just wash it truly. 500 grams. They say that you shouldn't wash the liver. It makes it harder when it cooks. But I preferred washing quickly and pet dry. So I dried as much as I can and I'm gonna cut into cubes now. If you see this white film membrane part, try to get rid of it as much as you can. Okay, she got the... It has some water, salt, meat stock and red lentils and the tomato paste and here comes more water. While the soup is cooking, we heated some whole milk with sugar heating just to warm up the mixture and we're gonna use this mix syrup to make traditional Ramadan dessert gulaj. I have some potatoes about 400 grams it's up to you how much you want to use it could be the same amount as the liver I'm gonna cut them into cubes soak them in water I have some fresh parsley. I'm gonna chop and make it ready for the salad. I'm gonna thinly slice this onion close to the iftar time and then wrap it with some salt and sumac. To make the gulaj, we're gonna place the sheets one by one while soaking with the warm milky syrup. The sheets are simply made with rice flour and water. It's a very light dessert traditionally we make during Ramadan. If you want to make a smaller dessert, you can break the leaves as small as you need to fit to your pan. First, I'm gonna fry my potatoes. and then liver. I'm gonna mix half cup flour and about quarter of a teaspoon baking soda. We have about 20 minutes left to iftar. My potatoes are frying the second batch close to the time I fry my potatoes. I'm going to coat my liver pieces, sift the excess flour and deep fry again. While the potatoes frying, let me slice the onion. I'm gonna add some salt and sumac powder, flake sumac. Give it a mix and add from the parsley. 
and our salad is ready. Normally we would do even more, but we are on the Ramadan, so I did only to show you with a small onion. Small but important hint. You should flour your liver pieces right before you're gonna fry them. And make sure to sift the excess flour. If it weighs too much, the flour will dampen from the liver and it's not gonna be crispy. It should have only a light coat of flour. Depending on the size of your cubes and how hot is your oil, it takes only about a minute or one and a half minutes to cook. I should admit that it could have been better if I cut the liver into smaller cubes. I'm going to lightly season with some salt, paprika and a little bit cumin. Okay, about a couple of minutes left for the iftar. And our Arnauji is ready. Okay, dear friends, this is the first day of the month of Ramadan. With the help of my daughter, we are ready to break our first fast. I pray for the earthquake victims. I hope they are fine. They will be in better situation, better position than they were before the earthquake. Bismillah. <laughs> okay, first to my daughter, who is the light source. Bismillah. Quickly, I'm gonna taste from the soup and then the liver it's a blessing even the simple soup is a blessing my friends okay Bismillah. Mm. it is perfectly done i can feel the crispiness it waited for about uh, five minutes so it is a bit cooler but still perfect timing with the potato perfect just gonna get from the onion. Normally we don't eat. We're gonna go to the terabi. But just for the sake of this filming, I'm gonna get one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to try. And it's time for us to enjoy our iftar. Once again, Ramadan Mubarak. Afiyet olsun.